Hi, welcome. My name is Cassandra. You can find me at hashtag Torasandra. I'm here to uh, present some bar yoga. Bar yoga is wonderful for flexibility in the hips, um, getting some strength in your bones, getting some flexibility just to get us in everyday life. It also uh, supports those big muscles we use every single day. It gets under, into those little muscles so that the little muscles can help out the big muscles to take care. And it also helps with uh, spinal flexibility as well as um, spinal protection and things like that. I just want you to remember when I say engage your core, we're just going to have um, engage our belly button and pull it up into uh, towards our ribs and we're going to have it nice and tight. Um, when I say have a neutral, that just means don't pull the pelvic in and just kind of leave it open. If I say open hips, we just kind of want to bring them open. If I say square, we just want to keep them down. So you just want to listen to the modifications and you just want to um, do what is comfortable for you. The most important thing is, is no hunching. Uh, we don't want to put any pressure on the spine without um, ex excess pressure on the spine. Uh, also make sure whenever you're bending your knee, you want to make sure that knee is over the ankle, never, ever, ever over the toes. If your knees start to hurt, please just extend out. Just don't lock up your knees. And we're going to get started. There's no music. So if you feel like you want, if you need something to motivate you and you want music, you can always turn music on in your home and have fun with this. So we're just going to get started with a warm up. So I want you to just come to the center of your mat. And we're just going to start by lifting up on our toes and inhaling our arms up. And as we exhale down, I just want you to very gently drop those heels. So I'm going to move my heels up. This is the beauty of virtual. We get to, we have to find our comfort and our balance. So we're just going to inhale up. You can come to your toes or if it becomes too much for the arches of your feet or the flats of your feet, just stay like this. And we're exhaling down. We're going to inhale those arms up. And exhale the arms down. So you can go like this. Or if you want to bring it up a little more, you lift those heels. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. And remember, if you need to, you can always just inhale the arm up. If you want to lift up on those toes and then dropping the heels nice and slow, you can always have that bar there for a little extra balance. And remember, we are not having any kind of like a death grip or anything like that on the bar. Our hand is just there to give us a little support. It's just something to help us feel a little more in balance. It's uh, something there so that we can um, feel like we can do a little more. But remember, there should be no pain. There should be no discomfort. So if you start to feel that, just start to slow down what you're doing and come back to your breath. So one more time. And exhale down. Last one. Inhale nice and deep. Tall arms. Come hold yourself back. Give it a little stretch, baby. Drop your fingers down. Just don't hold yourself there. Feel those calves for a minute. You need to lose that. Exhale down. Ooh, I mean, that was just a little stretch and you can already feel it. We're going to take out those feet nice and wide. We're going to inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, we're going to bend those knees, come down to a little goddess here. So we want to open up those knees. We want to keep ourselves neutral. And then we want to inhale back up. Push through the heels. Exhale down. Bring it all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So you don't have to go very low. You want to make sure you're not curling the spine. You want to make sure you're just going down that wall. Your back is nice and straight. Pushing through the heels. Toes are comfortably, they can comfortably be lifted. And down. So we're just warming up the muscles, feeling those hips. Do we feel any tense in the hips? They start to get a little uh, tight when we sit on them for too long. And working at home, sometimes that happens. So we're gonna lift it up. We're gonna hold it this time. We're gonna bring those toes in. Make sure you're not buckling your knees. You wanna make sure the knees have a lot of movement in them. And then as we exhale, we're gonna take our hands down and slowly flat back, which means you're going to pull that belly button in. You're going to come to a flat back. Arms are out. If it becomes too much, bring those hands to the hips. Don't look up at the screen like I do. That's bad for your spine and your neck. 
Make sure you're engaging that core for the core again. Belly button to spine. And then let's exit all the way down. Nice bend in the knees. And just drop the head. Audible breathing is amazing because during bar, you tend to get your heart rate up pretty high. So now I just want you to slowly roll it up. This time we're going to roll through the spine. Chin is the last thing to come up. Fingertips are coming up. Nice little bend in those knees. Inhale those arms all the way up. And as we exhale, drop the hands down. Palms towards the ceiling. Let's leave them right there and flat back down. So when we flat back, we're inhaling and we're um, pulling that belly button to the spine. We're making sure our knees are not locking. We're going to hold here for a minute, remembering if it's too much, put those hands on the hips, roll that shoulder back, shoulders back, or have them up. And then exhale all the way down. Go nice and slow because you're going to feel it in those hamstrings, especially if we haven't stretched this morning. Now take your feet in, heel toe in just a little bit. About hip width apart. Hip width apart is about uh, where you can just see your toes in your peripheral. Take your hands down, keep the head dropped. Find those elbows. Do a little right down here. Really just surrender your spine, surrender your back. Keep the shoulders out of the ears though, and just enjoy that stretch through the hamstrings. Maybe you do a little rock. We're just trying to loosen up, warm up those muscles. Feel good. Drop those hands down. Slowly roll yourself up. Pilates roll. Slowly, no rush here. Roll the shoulders back. Take a nice shoulder roll. So while we're doing the shoulder rolls, I want the fingertips to get light. I want you to feel the shoulder blades come together and the chest open. So just don't tense up the fist. Let everything just completely relax. And we're going to open the chest. So it's almost like we're warming up our wings to fly. So I just want you to bring the hands forward, roll the shoulders back, and keep with that. Just a few more. Maybe the arms get a little bigger if you want a little more mobility in the shoulders. We're going to bring out the arms, wingspan. From here, we're going to take a nice roll. We're going to pull the pelvic. So we're going to pull our belly button in. We're going to curl ourselves forward, and we're going to open it up. So take a little seat back with your booty, and roll it up. Lost my balance there. Out and in. So you're engaging the core, you're giving a good warm up in that spine. Maybe we take a little bend in the knees, toes are forward, and bring it up. Down. Remember those knees are not going over the toes. You're feeling the weight in the heels. I know you're feeling this already in your arms. One more time, and bring it back. Drop the arms, I know that feels good. Now we're just gonna alternate rolling the shoulders. Right? Hmm? I thought I heard somebody. All right, how are those arms feeling? Shake them out. Okay, I like to warm all, all the muscles before we start getting into engaging and isolating and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna have, we're gonna bring our toes and our, our feet a little bit where like you can almost have a tennis ball there. Remembering not to lock the knees, let those knees go. There's no reason to have those locked at all. We're gonna inhale those arms up. We're gonna take our right and take a little grasp on the wrist, nothing too much. And we don't want those shoulders in the ears. We make sure those roll back nice down, the shoulder blades down. And then we're gonna exhale over to the right, taking a stretch side from here. Inhale up, switch sides, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale, open up those arms, let the elbows bend, take a little cactus. Inhale up, exhale one more time, cactus arms. Let's take a little bend if we can, or if it's in our practice today, inhale up. And then we're gonna exhale forward, fold all the way, take a little bend in those knees. 
squeeze. We're gonna heel toe our feet out just a bit. I want you to take a little bend in that right leg. Our toes are forward. We're gonna take that right hand into the center of our feet. And then we're gonna take a bend in that right. Our left is straight. We're gonna slowly roll ourselves open so that our shoulder starts to open. Maybe we have our hand on our hip. If you want more of a stretch, we set that tailbone back. Remember, knee does not come over those toes. And then take that arm all the way up. If you have too much, maybe you come to the fingertips. And you can either challenge your balance a bit, look up at the fingertips, or just keep your head down. You really want to listen to what your body is calling to you. This is all about just letting go. Now, as we bring the head down, take a little bend in both knees. Set that booty back. Now take a moment here. I want you to look at your knees. Make sure they're not going over the toes. Push that booty back. You're gonna feel it in your hips. Start to straighten the right leg. Take down that left hand into the center and open up. Roll the shoulder towards the ceiling. Now we can keep it here or if we want a little bit more, we can take that arm up to the ceiling. Remember, you can always take a little pressure off and put yourself on your fingertips. You can look up or down, wherever it feels comfortable. Now, as we return back, bend both knees. Feel that for a moment. And then slowly straighten the legs. Breathe here. Let's take a little rag down, climb with elbows. Release into it. Surrender into the stretch. Just feel good. Let the toes wiggle maybe. And then we're going to slowly make our way down to the mat. So whatever it takes to get there, adjust your clothes if need be. We're going to find ourselves in our tabletop. I will give a little tip. If you're like me, and you may have some kind of um, knee sensitivity, if you don't have the rubber kind of mat, you can always roll that mat up, even double it up if you want a little something to cushion your knees, because I have the knee issues, so I like to put my knees on a padded area. Now let's just take a moment here, make sure those knees are in line with the hips. Make sure you got that belly button pulled to the spine. Make sure the wrists are under the shoulders. And make sure those shoulders aren't shrugged in. Pull the shoulders down. Feel yourself root into the mat. Now, if you want a little stretch, you can tuck those toes and just kind of open up the um, bottoms of your feet. And then flip them down. I just want you to take a moment and just connect with your body. Take a little movement. It doesn't have to be fast. It doesn't have to be flowy all the time. It could just be about moving. That's what's the most important about our bodies. We just have to move. Once we get moving, that's when we want to do stuff. So we're going to do a little cat cow here. So we're going to drop our belly. We're going to lift the tailbone. Inhale. Don't look too high. And as we exhale, pull the belly button in. Drop the chin towards the chest. Feel the stretch through the spine. And bring it back. And take these on your own breath. And I do invite you to use some audible breath because it really releases any tension we might be feeling that we don't even know we have. Release into the lower back, let it stretch. One more. and come back to neutral. Okay, so we're in our tabletop. We're gonna take that left leg back. Now remember, I want the hips square. That means they're not open, they're towards the floor. You're pushing through the toes. You're sending that heel back. You wanna make sure you're still in line. If it ever becomes too much on the wrists, you can always come to your fists. So you just wanna rock through we're gonna just release that cap a little, release the hamstrings a little. 
And I want you to make sure you're engaging, pulling that belly button and spine. And we're just sawing back and forth, releasing the feet, letting go of the toes. Now we're gonna bring that heel forward, take the shoulders down, pull the navel to the spine and lift that foot. Remember the hips are staying square and breathe here. Each inhale, we're, in, we're keeping the navel to spine, but as we exhale, we're gonna bring it in a little tighter. Now I want you to point that foot. We had it flexed before. I want you to point it. I want you to make sure there's no arch in your back. We wanna really pull that pelvic towards our nose. Our head is in line with the spine. If you're starting to shake, that just means you're doing it right. So enjoy the shake. Let those toes have a quiver. Feels so good, you know you're doing right. I don't want to feel, I don't want you to feel any pain in your back. I want you to ice, <laughs> my toes are going crazy. All right, so we got, we got our toes pointed. That's how we know we should be shaking right now. Now all we're gonna do, very, very tiny, lift and drop right where we started. Lift, we're not lifting high. We're lifting it where we can just feel it right in that, that nice little, I call it the smile of the butt. You know, where your bum is down at the bottom and it gets a good smile, unless this, we need to lift it a little more and it's frowning. So we want to put a big smile on that booty. So don't lift very high. Are you shaking? That means it's working. Doing good. All right, we're almost there. Okay. If you need a break, it's okay. We're going to hold it where we lifted it. From here, we're gonna pulse. So here we go, little tiny pulses. You're up in that glute, make sure you're engaging. Uh, that's fine, all right, your navel's fine, and we're pulsing. Now, it's gonna start, because you're just sitting here, guys, but it's gonna start to uh, burn. We're almost there, in four, in three, in two, and drop it down. Bring it back. Okay, I think you guys deserve a child's pose. So you find where your child's pose is. If you're like me and have tight hips, I like my knees to go nice and wide. And then walk yourself out and take a nice child's pose. Maybe you push into that glute you just worked. And the cool thing about bar is you do one side at a time. So you can really, really notice when you're working it. Because you can feel how it feels on one side as opposed to the other side. That's how you know you're doing it right. So we're gonna take it here. Let's come up on our elbows a little bit. And I just want you to give the wrist a little love. So bend, give them a nice little turn. Then we're gonna come back up to our tabletop. And then from here, I just want you to take that left hand don't put pressure on it. I just want you to flip the palm towards the ceiling. Remember, we're still engaging that um, navel to spine. We're keeping our core nice and tight. And I just, want you, I just want you to give it a little massage here. Just a little. It doesn't have to go very far. And then bring it back. And then a little bit more. And then bring it back. Give it a little shake. Do the other side. We don't want to put too much tension on those wrists. So we're just going to give them a little love because we got a little more to do on the other side. Shake it out. All right, make sure your form is good. Knees under those hips. Wrists under those shoulders. Shoulders down. Are we ready? Navel to spine. Take that right foot back. Remember, when we take things back, we want to make sure that core is nice and engaged because we want that leading us and not our back leading us. So I want you to saw that foot, push that heel back, feel it in the calf, push the toes. Saw it back, push the toes. Remembering to breathe. All right, we're gonna make sure that core is nice and engaged. Lift that flexed foot only up where you can feel it in your glute. Also, if it becomes too much, you can also come down to those forearms. You want to give those wrists a little um, rest. Just remember, you don't want those shoulders shrugging in. You always want to be conscious of really, really, really 
opening up that chest and keeping those shoulders down. So our foot is up. We're going to point the foot. Remember, we don't want to open. We want to stay square. So those toes are towards the floor. The bottom of the foot is towards the ceiling. We're going to hold it here. Remember, no arching in the back. So make sure you bring that pelvic towards your nose. Here it is. Shake. Oh, there it is. You guys feel the shake? That is the best feeling in the world because you know you're alive. You can feel your body is talking to you, begging you. All right, so we're just going to do those little up and down. Remember, it's okay to drop the toe if you need a little break. So instead of going and holding it center, you can just look up and tap that toe down. Or if you want more, you hold it up and you lift up. So you find what works for you. Woo, breathe into it. Don't forget to breathe. So this is where we're working those little tiny muscles. You know when you do lunges, you're working, not lunges, squats, you're working the big muscles. This is working those tiny little muscles that help you to do those awesome squats. All right, we're gonna do four, three, two, hold it up there, point those toes, enjoy that shake, no pain in the back. Your body will start to shake as well. Here we go. We're a little pulsing. Here we go. Pulse. Pulse. Woo! Pulse. Pulse. No one can hear you. Scream it out. Breathe it out. Curse me out. I don't care. Just let it pulse. Pulse. In three. In two. And one. Bring it back. Take your child's pose. Send it back. Now you should be evenly. You should feel the evenness of the burn. Your arms are probably shaking a little bit. That's okay. Woo. Little breath. Maybe we bring our forehead down. Maybe we go into that glute just a little bit to give it a little bit of stretch. All right. We're going to bring ourselves back to tabletop. I am going to put my mat back where it belongs. All right, so the way I learned how to do a, I don't like the word perfect, a nice down dog that supports the form and you don't hurt yourself. We have our knees in line with our hips, our wrists in line with our shoulders, our core nice and tight. Right from here, you tuck those toes and you lift your tailbone to the sky and you send it back. And that is how I know I'm in the right form for my down dog. So I now work those wrists a little bit. So let's just take a pedal just for a little bit. And then we'll walk the hands back to the feet. We'll inhale, flat back, lift that tailbone, feel the stretch. Exhale down a little bit in the knee. Inhale all the way up, remembering the chin is the last thing to tend because you might have a little blood rushing to that head. Inhale up. Bring the hands together, slide into the chest. Take your thumbs, bring it to your chest. Check in with your heart rate. If you're breathing a little too heavy where you feel like it might be a little much, let those thumbs feel the pulse. And I just want you to in through the nose and out of the mouth. Into the nose. And out of the mouth. So it's a really great thing to always stay in communication with your body. So if your heart rate is going, this is when you take your time, you take a break, you drink some water, you can even just start to pedal your feet, just keep the body moving, but you let that heart rate come nice and low. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna come to our mountain. We're gonna take a minute here. We're gonna just check in. We're gonna open up those hands. We're gonna shake them out. Shake up the arms. I'm sure they're probably a little screaming at you right now. Exhale out. Really just release into it for a moment. All right, we're gonna come to that bar. I'm actually gonna turn my mat around. So you can see me. 
All right, so I want you to make sure you have that chair, that countertop, that bar, whatever you have. And I want you to make sure you're about an arm's length away, but I want you to make sure if you have that chair, it's stable, pushed against something, you know, because sometimes even though we're not supposed to have a lot of pressure on it, we tend to push. So just make sure it's not gonna slide anywhere. So we're gonna pull that belly button in, nice and snug. We're just going to take our toes out. We're gonna lift our heels up. We're gonna bring those heels together. And we're just gonna take it down. And bring it up. Take it down. And bring it up. That's a little too much. We can just cap the heels down and just take it down. But the heels come up a bit, and then it, as we come up, they go down. So down. And up, down, and up. If you want a little bit more, you can always take that hand away from the bar. Down, and up, down, and up. Take it down. Let's hold it for here. Can we hold it here for one moment? Maybe we take our hand off the bar, find our balance, and bring it. Whoo! All right, so let's just turn ourselves towards the bar or chair, whatever we have. We're just going to lift our heels and drop them down. Lift and drop them down. A little bit more and down. Okay, I don't see how to do this way. So we're going to walk ourselves back, arm length distance. So this is the most important. We want to make sure we're not curving our back. We want our pelvic coming toward our nose, and we're taking a flat back here. Our hands are gentle on the bar. We're walking ourselves out where we got a nice little L. So if, if, my, if mine was lower, it would be right here. We want to make sure those knees are not locked. We're going to take that left foot out. We're going to just tap it down. And then we're going to lift up and tap down. Lift up, tap down. Remember, there's no arch in the back. We're pointing the toes and down. We're basically doing what we just did on the floor. And down. We're just taking it off our hands, off our wrists. We want to make sure those hips are square. And down. Lift up and down. All right. We're going to hold it here. We're going to bend that knee. Have a little bend in that knee. Want to make sure our hips are square. Point those toes. We're going to do circles. So take that big toe and make a little circle. Go towards the floor, lift up. Go towards the floor, lift up. Towards the floor, towards the floor. We'll do a few more. In three, in two, in one, other way. Breathe into it. Heel of the standing leg is where you're going to feel the weight. You're probably going to start to burn. In three, in two, in one. Bring it back. Woo! Go back to your flat back. Take a little pedal here. So I want you to lift the ouchy boo boo side and then go to the other side. And I want you to alternate. And I really, really, really want you to send that booty back so you're stretching and giving that side that's screaming at you right now a little relief. And all right. So the tricky thing about the bar is that now you have to work the side that thinks it already worked. So we're gonna take a little bend in that left. Make sure you got a nice engagement, pulling that navel to spine. Take that right foot back. Make sure you're stable in that supporting leg. A little bend in the knee. Toes are comfortably lifted. They can be lifted and play a little bit. Weight in the heel. Lift up. Remember, no arch in the back. You're only going to feel it when you lift. That, that glute is going to engage. And down. Lift up. And down. Lift up. And down. Up. And down. In four. 
in three, make sure the shoulders out of the ears, two, woo, hold it up. You wanna point those toes, here we go, let's do our circle, they're not very big, it's not very fast. Don't rush it. I know you think if you go faster, it'll get over sooner. It won't. All right. In four. Woo. In three. You got this. In two. And one, we're not done. Go the other way. Woo. You got this. In four. In three. In two. And one, drop the toe, slide it in, bend the knees a little bit, and then send it to a flat back. Woo, take a pedal. Give those glutes some love. Move it around. And then we're gonna slowly bring ourselves back up. Come facing forward. And just do a little pedal here. I want you to take some, uh, Awareness to how your booty felt from when you started with me to how your booty feels now. It's feeling pretty good. All right. So now we're going to face our bar kind of at an angle. We're going to take out that left. By the way, guys, I'm left handed, so that's why I start with the left. It's probably annoying, but that's okay. So we're going to take a little angle with the right foot. We don't want it completely in, we want it out of it. So we got our, our triangle going. We're gonna take out, we wanna make sure there's a little bend and that's supporting what? We're gonna take out that left foot. We can have our hand up, we can have a hand on our hip, whatever feels good. But we're just gonna lift and down. Lift and down. Remember, we're not locking that supporting knee. It is bent. So we're lifting and down. Little secret. Standing abs. You never want to do a sit up again. I recommend, well, yoga and walk. Because if you're engaging that navel to spine, you're working your core right now. But let's have some fun. Take that arm up. We're going to crunch. Crunch it in. Take it down. Crunch it in. Take it down. In and down. In. And down. Doesn't have to go very high. Really, it's about length of the leg, length of the foot. It's not about height. So make sure that navel is in. Exhale. Exhale. In five. You see where it's ending? Four. You see the count? Three. The count is in the air. Two. That means you're not done. And hold it. <laughs> we got it. Do we feel the shake? Pulse it. Really, really point that toe. No arch to the back. You got this. Toes are out. In five, four, three, two, and bring it back to your triangle. Take a little pedal. Ooh. Should we give that leg a break and go to the other side? Nah, let's keep it that leg. All right, we don't want to tease it. So we're going to go back out. So before our toes were facing the ceiling, we are gonna turn it out, bring it back. Turn it out, bring it back. So the foot, the arch of the foot is going towards the ceiling. So we're getting a little mobility in those hip flexors. Whew. Breathe into it, remember, into the nose, out through the mouth. Remember, bend in that supporting leg, you don't wanna lock it out. All right, in five, see the count. Your arch should be at four, three, bottom of your foot, side of your foot, towards the ceiling. Hold it out there, give it a little bend. Up, up, woo, can we feel it? In five, four, three, two, one, all right, bring it back, take a pedal. Woo, okay, one of my favorite, figure four. So, we're here, we're gonna take our leg we just worked. You don't want it on the knee. You want it above the knee. You want the foot flexed. I'm gonna turn this way. And as you come down, your booty is going back. And you're gonna feel a massive stretch all through this region. So take it down and set that booty back. Weight is in the heel of the supporting foot. Hold it here, really stretch. 
I bet you thought this was just a stretch. No. We're going to take a little pause. Okay, we got this. Ready? So weight is in the heel of the foot, knee is bent. Give it a pulse. Give it a pulse. Take that booty and let it just up and down. Woo! I want the weight in the heel of the foot, not the toes. They should be comfortably playing. In five, in four, in three, in two, and bring it up, bring it back. Walk it out. Okay. Like I said, the beauty of bar. We're gonna do the other side. All right. So we take that other one, right? Toes, the supporting leg, out to an uh, angle. Knee is bent. We lift it up and down. Up and down. Foot, top of the foot is towards the ceiling. Up and down. Remember, it's not about height. About length. Up and down. Up and down. Up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up here. I know I mixed it up a bit, but that's okay. That's the fun. Pulse it. I don't want you bending back. I want you nice and tall. Toes are long. Leg is long. Knee is bent for the supporting leg. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to do those crunches. You, have, you can use your bar. I have to turn towards you to see me. So we're going to go up and down, up and down, and down. Woo, and down, up and down. In five, in four, in three, two, one, hold it up there. We're taking it, turn and forward, turn and forward, turn and forward, Woo. and forward, turn and forward. In five, four, three, two. All right, side of the foot should be towards the ceiling point. Give it a little bend in that knee. Lift, lift, lift. In five. Four, three, two, and drop it down. We're gonna take that leg we just worked, give it a little figure four, and drop it back. Remembering the ankle above the knee, the foot always flexed. Flat back. Whoo, breathe into it. Weight in the heel of the foot. Did we get a good stretch? Let's work it now. Little pulses, little pulses. Push through the heel of the foot. Send your booty back. We're almost there. In five, four, three, two, and bring it up. Woo! Do you think we deserve a flat back? We do. Let's take a flat back. Really send that tailbone towards the sky. No arch in the back. Take a little bend in the knees and start to pedal. And breathe into it. Really, really let it go. I really want you to push into that booty, lift those toes, or lift that heel high, really, really give a nice bend, and then switch it up. Send that booty back. Really feel that stretch all through the hamstrings and the calves. Take your time here. We're not done. Don't think this is the cool down. I just want you to let some of this go. All right, almost there. Okay, slowly roll yourself up nice and slow. Head is the last thing to come up. Okay, we're gonna come to the side. We're gonna come to our tree pose. So, you can either have it here, or if you wanna take it higher, you can have it here. Although I'm telling you, with these pants, I might not be having it here. Oh, look at that, I have it here. I want you to make sure you got a little bend in that knee of the supporting leg. And do not make, and you make sure that your foot is not pushing into your knee. So we can hold it here. If you want to challenge yourself, pull the belly button in nice and tight. Take a little bit of a pose here. Woo. All right, so I want you to bring it down to your calf if you had it up there. We're going to open and close the door. So we're going to take it in. 
and bring it out. Take it in, take that knee out. Bring it in, take it out. You can bring your arm in, make a little dance. Just wanna make sure you have that bend in your supporting leg. The worst thing that could happen is locking that knee and falling to the floor. Out and in, out and in. We're gonna hold it out. So we're taking it back, back, back. If the back of your leg is shaking, you're doing it right. Shake equals shake. We've got this. So we're pushing the knee back into our glute, opening up the hips. Here we go. So in five, four, three, two, one, not done. Hold it here. We're gonna take that leg out. We're take that arm up, tap the toe down, bring it up and down, up and down. Take a little turn to the supporting leg. Up, remember, light hands. We're not gripping. Woo, breathe into it. In five, see where it's landing. See the number four, three, two. You know what comes next. Hold it up and pulse and pulse. Try not to go to the side. Try to stay up. In five, woo, point the toe. In four, three, two, and bring it down. Pedal it up. Not done on the side yet. Almost. Oh dear. I guess we are done. We're almost done. <laughs> Let's do one more thing. We're going to take our toes out to our triangle. Arm up. Let's do some side crunches. So we're going to bring it up and down. You're bringing your hip, not your arm, to meet. Up and down. Up and down. In five, four, three, two. Hold it up. And pulse. And pulse. Almost there. In three, in two, in one. All right, shake it out. Other side. Whew. Okay, y'all gonna have to look at my booty. All right, here we go. So we're taking it out. We're bringing the arm up. Bring it up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. In five, four, three, two. One, hold it there, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. In four, three, two, one. I bet you forgot, I forgot. I did not forget, I promise. I'm going around. So we're back. Let's give it a crunch. So we're gonna lift the knee, crunch and down. Hip and down, bring your hip and down. Crunch and down. Five, four, three, Two, hold it here and pulse. We got this. Pulse, pulse. In five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. I promise I didn't forget. I just wanted to get that part over with and give you a little break. Okay, so we are with the other side. Let's bring up to our tree. So, it's either here. This is just to give ourselves a little tree time. So it's either this, you don't have to bring your arms up if you don't want to, or it's this. Oof. Well, find your balance. Remember, balance, if you look down in the middle of the floor, find something that's not moving, find your balance, breathe into it, engage that core, and exhale it down. Take it down. All right, back to the calf. Take that left foot off of it, bring that right foot. We're gonna open and close that door. Let's see if I can do it without the bar. So open and, whoops, open, <laughs> open. Okay, nope, need the bar, open and close. Remember, little bend in that knee, don't let it lock. Open and close, open. Do you feel the shake? I know I do. Open and close. Let's hold it out there and push, and push, and push. Oh, nope, not gonna have it. And push, push, push. Five, whoo, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, walk it out. All right, time to cool down. 
I'm gonna pull my mat away from my char chair bar, whatever it is. Make sure you push your bar out of the way. Take a nice inhale. Let's take those hands, roll the shoulders down, intertwine the fingers, flip the palms towards the ceiling. Ooh. And take a little bend. And then as you exhale, let it go all the way forward. Drop the hands down. Let the head hang. Maybe find a rag doll. Let that spine go. Slowly roll it up nice and slow. Chin is last thing to come up. Inhale those arms up. Chin comes to the ceiling. Intertwine those fingers again. Palms to the ceiling. Take an exhale up to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Let's do another bend. Oh, and then forward. Maybe we open our hands. This is where you really want to find your happy, your joy, your movement. This is where you want to be like, oh, I need to stretch this. I need to stretch that. Oh. And then we're going to slowly bring ourselves down to tabletop. Well, you're lucky you missed out on my plank series, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> Let's find our tabletop as we did in the beginning. Knees under the hips, shoulders and wrists line up. Let's take a nice inhale and exhale. Let's do those cat and cows. Really release into it. Do these on your own breath, on your own movement. more. Last one. All right, let's do some thread the needle. Let's take that right arm up, take it to the ceiling. And then we're going to take a little bend in that left elbow and slide through, gently dropping our head to the mat, finding our stretch. Now you can have your hand out in front of you. You can have it behind you. You really wanna just take a moment and connect with your body and listen to what it's saying to you. Does that feel good? Does that, is that uncomfortable? Something like that. Really listen to your body. That's what yoga is all about. Connecting with the breath, listening to your body, giving it what it needs. And breathe. And then slowly slide that hand under the shoulder. Push through the heel of the hand. Take that arm up back in the air. And bring it down. Let's go to the other side. Left arm up. And exhale, bring it through. Take a little bend in that elbow and bring yourself all the way down. Find your stretch. Breathe. Let's bring that hand back under the shoulder, push through the heel of the hand, take that arm up into the air, and bring it down. Let's bring ourselves to the mat, let our tailbone connect. Find your sit bones, connect them down to the earth, inhale those arms up. I want to exhale towards those toes, make sure that your feet are flexed, Toes pointing towards you. So really feel the stretch through that back. With each exhale, maybe just going a little deeper. Really moving with the breath. Allowing the breath to create space in your body to allow you to fall into it just a bit more. We're going to look up at those toes. We're going to find that right foot. We're going to bring it in. Bend that knee. We're going to give it a little cradle. 
and just kind of give it a little twist. And then we're either going to drop the foot to the inner thigh or to the outer thigh, making sure those tailbone is nice and grounded, making sure that foot is flexed, inhale those arms up, and we're going to twist over that knee. Remembering to move with your breath, so inhale, and maybe we exhale that shoulder back a bit more. Remember, never forcing space, always allowing space. And bring it back to center. We're going to take that foot, bring it to the inner thigh this time. We're going to inhale our arms up. We're going to face that toe. Make sure it's flexed towards you. Inhale up and forward fold towards that toe. It doesn't have to be very far. Remembering if this is ever too much, you can always take your towel and just bring yourself forward. And then from here, I want you to take that left arm, kind of put it in the, on the, the mat next to your foot and just kind of twist open. Remember, you're not forcing anything, just giving a little twist. And then bringing it back, taking a little stretch. And then slowly rolling it up. Sliding that foot in, we're going to do a little butterfly here. Just take a moment, roll the shoulders back, open up those hips. Take a little awareness. Do the hips feel a little looser? Maybe have a little more mobility, not be so tense. That's what bar does. And then we're going to put our hands down, we're going to shoot those feet out. Reposition ourselves, feet towards us, flex, inhale up. And exhale, forward fold. Shoulders out of the ears. Get an inhale. And maybe we go a little further with our space we created. Never gripping, never pulling, allowing the body to move where it will. All right, let's look up at this toe. Let's find our left leg. Take a little cradle here. Give them a little rotation. Inner thigh, outer thigh, drop it down. Roll the shoulders back, grow nice and tall. Inhale those arms up. And exhale over that knee. Take a moment here. Take a nice inhale. And exhale a little more space. You'll be amazed what you can do if you just allow yourself to breathe and slow down and drop the expectations and just enjoy and slowly bring it back to center. Take that foot, bring it to your inner thigh. Maybe you stretch the foot a bit, uh, the leg a little bit longer. Facing the flexed foot, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Dropping that right arm and slowly open yourself towards the ceiling, giving yourself a good stretch. You can have it here, or if you'd like more, opening up, taking the arm to the ceiling. And then slowly returning back, taking another fold. And rolling it up. Another butterfly stretch, finding the difference. Bringing those hands behind you, taking your legs out. We only have a few more minutes. I just want you to take yourself, roll yourself. So bring your, your belly button to your spine and slowly Pilates roll all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Take it all the way down. Take those arms overhead, morning stretch. Release. I think I'm going to give it a few more minutes since we started a little late. Let's bring those knees to our chest. Let that lower back connect. And just take a little roll here. Really give that lower back a nice massage. Let's find our big toes or 
angles. And let's see the big happy baby here. I'm gonna turn. And just give it a little wrap. Maybe your legs stretch out a little bit more. It's wherever your body says it's wanting to go today. Nice rock. Bring those knees in. Drop the feet down. Just want you to plant those heels down. Have those hands by the side of your body. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a bridge just to release a little bit. So I want you to push into the heels of the feet. Keep your head always looking toward the ceiling. Don't look to the side. And just lift your tailbone up into the air. Really come into the shoulders. And just breathe and then lower it down. This time bring your heels of your feet together. So we're gonna bring that little triangle we do when we're standing at the bar. Toes are out and then lift that way. Just release into it. And then lower down. Bring the feet back together. This time lift the heels and you're on your toes and lift the tailbone towards the sky. Little deeper of a stretch. And lower it down. Take those legs out. Let the feet drop. Stretch the arms overhead. Breathe. Close your eyes just for a moment. Take a full body scan. What does it feel like? Take some appreciation. Take some time to give yourself some gratitude for taking this Sunday, which you know sometimes is lazy day, <laughs> and taking care of yourself. Hear your breath. And then slowly take your left hand over and come to your side. Give yourself a little side rest. 